The Laos Flower Festival is one of the most important and unique traditions of St. Lucia. But one cultural advocate believes that government should stop paying lip service to the culture and invest enough money and effort to turn it back into a viable social force. La Rose is our own culture. La Rose is who we are as a people. And I strongly believe that La Rose can, one, be used to fight crime and violence in our country. However, I strongly believe and I strongly feel that there needs to be more monies being pumped into La Rose as a cultural event. Jazz get loads of money. Carnival get loads of money. How much money does La Rose receive? Laos groups have complained of a chronic lack of investment in the traditional culture, in spite of both officials and businesses exploiting the festival. However, the global potential of this St. Lucian tradition remains totally unexploited. La Rose can become one of our greatest cultural events in St. Lucia, and it can become a tourism product that we can develop and bring people to experience who we are, what our experience has brought us to be as a people. Father Albert lamented that some components of the Lawas Festival are already fading away. You know, when you look at, you know, the whole aspect of séance, I don't hear much about séance anymore. Qui ça qui vive nous? Nous pas qu'à faire séance pour nous s'abouiller, pour nous s'enlever le fond, pour nous s'amener le monde pour expérience la Lawas là. We need to do that. And then to culminate the whole séance and everything else would be the grand 30th of August. Fetla was so we we have a whole a whole a whole a whole homework on our hands as government as people as solutions you know to develop the cultural aspect of La Rose and to make it into a tourism product. Cultural Minister Dr. Ernest Ilay agreed that more investment is needed for the flower festivals to flourish. I agree with Father Albert that we need to increase the allocation that we put towards the flower festivals. Since July 2021, we have increased each year the allocation for the flower festivals. Um, in fact, for culture and creative industries on the whole, each year we have increased. I think since 2021, we've probably increased by over $2 million. Uh, we will continue to increase. Um, and you can see the increased profile of the flower festivals is because of those resources we've put in. We have to put in some more. He's right. We need to build more groups um, in all the major communities. We need to have groups. And the more groups we have is the more the festival will flourish. So he is absolutely right. I agree with everything that he says. And we will continue to lobby and to, to request that more resources are put into the flower festivals. Cultural activists know that it will take more than money, however. I think more can be done, but I don't think it's up to government alone. I believe we're supposed to come up with a certain structure that would enable the Lawas to grow. Because we keep on speaking about carnival and a lot being pumped into carnival. Carnival is where it is today because of preparation. So I think stakeholders along with the government are supposed to meet to find out what it is we can do to enhance and strengthen the groups firstly, right? Because the groups themselves, some of them lack structure. Because we move from a time where we had 22, 28 flowers groups to six to eight. And that's not just because of the financial issues, but because some of the internal issues that groups face. So we need to start building a group society, a group and this culture of togetherness is perhaps the greatest gift of traditional culture and the greatest loss St. Lucians have suffered on their way to becoming educated, modern people. For Choice News Now, I'm Jason Seaflake.